Hey friends, a few months ago, I wrote a blog post about Mapperly, the fastest.NET library for mapping. And why it is the fastest? Because it's used code generation to build the mapping structure for us. It's a very powerful tool and there is no performance issue because it generates the mapping files for us at build time. So there is no in-memory mapping like other frameworks. Auto mapper. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it and let's start. Make sure to check out my blog post. I'm going to put the link in the description below and let's start. So I have prepared a small uh, C sharp console app. I have a person class with some properties, ID, name, date of birth, tags, and employment status, and with an enum. And I have a DTO class, same thing, but different properties with different named person ID, full name, date of birth, array of string tags, and deployment status DTO, which is a different enum. Think about your DTO as the class, the, the object that you are returning to the API, and think about person as your database model in Entity Framework. So you can have few things that are data is related, like a foreign key or some relation or something like that. And basically, if you want to map between two person, between person and person DTO, you will have to do it manually. So you will have to create a new person. Let's create a new person first. Person. And put some value. Name Muhammad. This is me, by the way, date of birth. Let's put it in the, yep, I'm very old tag. Let's say we have a new list and employment status. I'm employed and that's it. When you need to uh, return that person from the database using a DTO, you will have to Let's say you call the database, you get the object, you have a person, and now you will create a DTO object. So new person DTO, and you start map each field. Person ID equal person dot ID, full name equal person dot name, date of birth equal person dot date of birth, tags, which is array, and tags and person is a list, you will have to go to person.tags and do dot to array. Status, because we have two different enums, you will have to create your own custom mapping implementation for the status. Basically, create a method map employment status and you give it the person.status, something like that. And here you will do some switch case between two different enums to, to get the value. I'm, I'm not gonna do that now, but you got the idea. And then, yeah, you have the DTO. So what happened now, anytime that you add any fields to the, to the person model, you will have to go to your DTO implementation and start adding that. So let's say we added a new field in person, you will need to add it in DTO. And if it is a straightforward uh, property, it's fine. But it, if it is something like a relation or an enum or any other objects, you will have to create some custom stuff and that is time consuming. Mapperly will come in handy by helping us implement that mapping on the fly. To do that, first, Make sure to install the NuGet package, Mapperly, and you can do that by search for Mapperly and install the package. Let's add it. Create a new class. So let's call it Person Mapper. It's a class. Let's make it partial. And we can add the Mapper property. Why it is partial? Because Mapperly will generate the same class behind the scene and we will check it in a few. And let's create our method, public 
partial person DTO, person to person DTO. This is the name of the method, and it will take a person person. And that will make sure that we are going to create the mapping. And the beauty of Mapperly, if you build your solution, you will notice I got some errors that, yeah, because it is required, because we have a required field here, full name, Mapperly was not able to map it, and it was an exception. Uh, it was an, a build error without doing the runtime thing that we used to do with other mapping tools. So what we can do, in the person mapper class, we can add a new attribute, which is map property, and we will specify the source. The source is person dot, dot name, and the destination is, the target is person dot full name. We need to do another one for the ID because we have, we have different ID as well. So it is ID in person, it is person ID in the person DTO. Let's build it out. And now we can use it. To use it, you simply create var mapper equal new person mapper and DTO2 equal mapper dot person to person DTO, and that's it. And now we can console.write line DTO2. If I run that, you will notice that both the manual one and the custom one will work as expected. We have the ID, we have the name, date of birth, and the list of tags. And both have zero for status because we didn't implement the enum mapping. To do that, before jumping into that, if we go to the implementation, like I command F12 in IDE in Mac, in Rider in Mac, but it's the same thing in Visual Studio, you will see here that there is another file generated. If we go to it, this is auto-generated file by Mapperly, and it is generated to perform the mapping for us. So it created a target from the source person, person DTO, this is the full name. Remember, it was required, so it was needed in order to work here. And it starts by adding this stuff, and notice that Mapperly automatically converted the list of tags here, list of strings into array using two array methods. But there is nothing related to the enum because both are in different shapes. So what we can do is we go to the person mapper and we change the mapper attribute and we specify the enum mapping strategy. Specify it by name. What does it mean is Mapperly will go to check any enum in person. We have an enum, and we have an enum also in uh, employment status DTO, and it will check for the name of each of the val of the enum. And we need here also to specify the enum employment status status because they are in different name you need to specify the map property if they are the same name you don't have to let's build once built we can go to the implementation and you will see mapperly automatically generated a method map to employment status dto using a switch statement very similar to the one that we had to do when doing that mapping manually and it's basically, if you have an employed enum from employment status, spec uh, specifies a DTO employed enum, although they are with different values. Okay. And if we go back now, if we add any new field here, 
it will be automatically added with the same name. So let's say we have public, you know, let's say we have public int salary for that person. And in DTO, we have also here public int salary. salary notice here if we add salary here so let's say I'm making a hundred thousand bucks salary person DTO if we don't specify it it will not be map but if we build it will be automatically picked up by mapperly and the mapping file will be updated and now if I run the code you will notice that you have a salary mapped already. Okay. And yeah, that's it. I hope you had fun and you learned something new. I will put the link of Mapperly in the description. Go ahead and give it a star in GitHub and make sure to like and subscribe the video. Thank you. Till next time.